Hey everybody, it's Al with CAD CAM Wizard and today we're going to take a look at some engraving or really profiling, uh, pocketing and a cutout on an imported DXF. Uh, this is um, not the current version of VCAR Pro so some of the icons might be a little bit different uh, but let's go ahead and get started. So let's create a new file. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna come down this menu and define our process. So we're saying the size in X, which is eight, the size in Y, which is four, and then the thickness of the material. In this case, we're gonna say the material surface is where we're gonna zero off of, and we're gonna say top center. All right, I believe. Uh, let's go ahead and choose OK. All right, now, now what we're going to do is import a DXF file. So we're going to go ahead and open this DXF file. Okay, so we're able to import the DXF file. Uh, let's see. Uh, it looks like it changed the datum to the corner. You know, I want the datum to be top center because uh, that's what I recommend when you first get started. I, I believe it makes it a little bit easier for, for people to understand the process. Okay, so we got the job set up here. So now the next thing we want to do is jump over to the cam side where your toolpaths are. So we can just click this little arrow over here and this will get us into the cam side of the software. The mouse wheel will zoom you in or out. So the first thing we want to do is come in here and let's uh, engrave these letters. Really, normally I would try to profile it, but the reason why uh, profiling doesn't work, if we window pick this, you'll see how this P is uh, avoided, and it's because of the intersecting geometry. Okay, so if you have an intersecting geometry, that's when you're going to use an engraving routine versus a, a profile routine. So let's go ahead and close that. All right, we're going to select what we want to work with, which are, which is this geometry here, and we're going to choose engraving. So once we choose engraving, we want to pick the cutter size we're using so we can go to select and there's a list of a bunch of tools that are already built in so we can grab that one there uh, this is where we're adjusting our feed rate so we're going to just bring it down a little bit uh, this also sets our depth per pass you know I think I'm, I was running this at uh, 80 as our depth per pass uh, and it also sets your step over when you're doing like pocket routines and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and apply and select. Okay, so we got our tool defined. We have how deep we're going to cut to. All right, we're going to do an outline. So the center of the tool is going to follow our shape and then we're going to calculate. All right, we can run this through a simulation and we can see we get the date on the job now okay so that's our first step now the next thing we want to do is get into the the profile right so we're gonna go ahead and close this one we'll come back to our 2d view we'll click on the screen to deselect and then we're gonna select this one and then this one so you'll notice as you go to select it another shape it deselects the first one so we're gonna hold shift on our keyboard and left click on this one and left click on that one. So shift will allow us to select multiple shapes. Now from here, we're gonna come up to where it says profile and we'll grab this one here. Uh, from there, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna say on. Well, I guess uh, let's kinda work from the top down. So we're gonna start at zero. We're gonna go 80 deep. We're gonna use our 16th cutter Okay, uh, based on the tool settings, we'll get uh, the correct number of passes, but we can always adjust that. We want to cut on the shape, and uh, that's about it. That's about all we got to do there. So let's go ahead and hit calculate. Uh, we can run that through a simulation, 
so we can see that it's cutting our, our two grooves there, okay? Let's go ahead and close this. The next thing we want to do is a, a pocket, so we want to come in and pocket the stars. So we'll go back to the 2D view, we'll left click on the screen to deselect our geometry. We're going to come over to Pocketing Toolpath. Uh, from here, we're going to do the same thing as before. So we'll hold Shift, we'll click this one, this one, and this one. We're going to go the 80, we're going to use the 16th. All right, um, let's see, offset style should be fine. Let's go ahead and calculate that. And that gives us our pocketing routine, so we can play that through. And that gives us our stars, okay? Now, the next thing we want to do is do the profile cutout, okay? So we're going to go ahead and close this. We'll go back to our 2D view. We're going to left click on the screen. and we want to use this profile routine. Okay, so we go to profile and we select this one. We're going to hold shift, this one, this one, and this one. Uh, this one's going to go, let's just go to 0.5. Really, I want to go 505 uh, just so it breaks through on the bottom. Okay, uh, this is going to be outside. Let's see here, we got 26 passes, that seems like a lot. Uh, we might want to edit that. These are the number of passes, this is how much it's taking per pass. So I'm going to clear all those. And I'm, I'm going to just actually drop this down until I see this number here to be at that 80, which looks good. So from there, we're going to say OK. So that sets the number of passes. And we're going to calculate. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to yell at us. It's telling us that there's multiple open contours. OK, so we're going to click OK. And then it's also going to yell at us and tell us that we're cutting through. So we're going to say OK. Uh, when we simulate this, let me slow this down. You're going to see how it cuts on each side separately. Uh, it may not be the worst case, but really we, we just want it to cut all the way around the shape. So we got to edit the CAD geometry in order to accomplish that. Okay, so we're going to close the simulation. We're going to delete this profile just by hitting delete on our keyboard. We'll come back to the 2D view. And these are all selected, so we want to go to Drawing, and then down over here, there'll be an option called Join Open Vectors. So we can click that, we can click Join, and Close. So what that does is it uh, makes it a closed shape. Uh, all right, so from here, we're going to go back. Well, let's go ahead and select it. When you click on it one time, you'll see it goes all the way around. That's another way for you to know it's a closed shape. Uh, from here, we're going to go back to Profile. We'll set our depths are. Everything should stay the same. Let's go ahead and calculate this. We'll say OK on the cut through. And then here we can see all our steps to go down. Now, I don't want to take that many passes to get down to the bottom. So let's double click on that feature there. Let's edit our passes. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. I just want to bring this into the 80, just like that. Uh, let's go a little bit less. All right, that looks OK. We'll choose OK and calculate. We'll say OK on the warning. And now we have our updated routine. We can play this through, and it will run all the way around. So you know, in this case, I designed the DXF and other software, uh, brought it in. We're applying the different toolpath strategies like engraving, profiles, and pockets. And then the last step here would be to uh, profile out the shape. Okay. Uh, once we're done with all our toolpaths, what we can do is go to Save Toolpath. This is where you're going to pick, um, you know, we'll say all selected toolpaths, I guess, I, I don't know if it's just looking at one of them, we really want to post them all out. 
Uh, sometimes we may choose to post the profile cutout separately so we can figure out how we're going to hold the part. But then from there, we can choose save tool paths, and based on your post processor, it's going to write the code uh, specific to your machine. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or feedback, just reply back to wherever this video may be posted in. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.